tuned because this is about to get hot. Now, I got to say this to you too. You said block me all you want. It's still wrong. So for you to think that I'm going to ban you for stating your opinion, it leads me to think that you knew that you was going to say something so offensive to me that you thought that I would do something like ban you. But I'm not. Because like I said, I'm not going to take this like you trying to come at me in a bad way or I don't know. Maybe you are. I don't know. But you seem to be very open and honest with how you respond to certain things. So if you're in this chat, you can just flat out just tell me. I mean, but no, I'm, I'm not going to ban you because I'm not there. I don't know when you're saying these words. I don't know if you're speaking from a place of anger. I mean, you could be yelling for all I know. I don't know. You could be just whispering this. I don't know. But like I said, I just took that like, oh, wow, you're trying to throw some shots. But of course, y'all know me. It doesn't it doesn't affect me. I'm not going to take it and be like, I can't believe you. I'm I'm I'm, I'm because people are going to be people regardless. And I always say that. So that's what makes us all so different. Now. After that. Kane, you said who needs a self-sufficient, intelligent woman who doesn't need you, but wants you for who you are. Oh, you, you quoting what hell said. You said that sounds more heavenly than anything the Bible promises. That's actually Bible. A self-sufficient woman? Yeah. Proverbs 21, reading there about a, <laughs> it's in Proverbs 21, reading there what that woman did. She was crazy self-sufficient. See, that's what I'm saying. A lot of times when, when, when things get thrown out like that, it's like, again, you're throwing shots right there. You said, treat them like what they're asking for. Now, I think you're quoting me. You said, like equal, like a partner. Yes. Where in this comment section do y'all see in there where I'm demeaning a woman and saying a woman is less? Show me in here at all. I'm talking about men. I'm up here encouraging men to step up and be men to their women. But then you got women, y'all, it's almost like y'all saying, don't encourage him to, what? No, I'm not, man. You really think that? <laughs> I encourage a lot of women out there, period. Young girls, they go and get their college degrees. Not to sit there and go into a relationship with the attitude that your degree or your income makes you superior to him and vice versa. His degree, his income does not make him superior to you. My point is, is that I said that there's a movement and y'all thought I was talking about the feminist movement and I said I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about a movement like in the spiritual realm, in the emotional realm of that a lot of women, period, if you don't, oh my God, if they let us record some of these conferences, y'all will see what I'm talking about. Then y'all be like, oh dang, Ty, now we get it. Is that they have this ad if y'all don't I got a video on here in my playlist it's called where are all the good black men and that's some of the things that I always get asked okay you'll see me address things in there that it's this attitude of entitlement this attitude of he better do this he better do that so you we come into a relationship with you having all these expectations about what we not 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 what we should be but what we better be and then for somebody to teach you that the man you better get with better be equal with you on the same intelligence level when it comes to whether you got a degree and he don't. Oh, girl, you got your college degree, he don't. Oh, no, uh, 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 what? Wait, he work where? He a carpenter, and you got your masters? Uh, uh. Having money, having a degree has nothing to do with relationship at all, because in the beginning, and yes, I'm quoting God because some people thought, yeah, they in here. Some shots was thrown at God too. I'm quoting. I'm, not, I'm, I'm saying it from the Bible. In the beginning, God created Adam and Eve. I don't whether you believe it or not. You don't have to, but listen to it as, as a story, okay? But um, He created Adam and Eve. Now, Eve didn't get up and say, um, "Adam, uh, <laughs> um, um, what college did you go to?" None of that. See, that's what I'm saying. The world has changed what marriage and what relationship is supposed to be and turned it all around. Relationship is people together. OK, relationship has nothing to do with your degree, has nothing to do with your income, it has nothing to do with your abilities, nothing to do with your talents. And has everything about what you, he and her are supposed to be forming or what they're supposed to be building. OK, that's what I'm getting at. OK, so, um, Kane, when you say treat them like what they're asking for. OK, so on TV, they show a hamburger turning real slow. It looked real good and juicy. The person pick it up and they bite into it. Why do they advertise stuff like that? Because sometimes, I mean, you weren't even thinking about food. When they show that burger, you're like, oh, man, that burger looks pretty good. So my point in saying what I just said is this. If a woman is walking around looking like a slut, I'm pretty sure that most men going to look at her and say, you know what? I wonder what her mind is like. 
if man, if you saying that you're lying to yourself, you, if she's walking around looking like a slut and all that, you're going to sit there and think in your mind, she might be somebody that you can easily have sex with or you want to have sex with. That's what you're going to be. You're not going to be sitting there thinking, oh man, this girl must be smart. I bet she come on now. Don't be lying to yourselves about that. So when you say what they ask for, that's what I'm saying. When you say things like, I don't need a man to be this for me. I don't need a man to be that for me. I don't need him to hug me. I don't need him to be loving. I don't need him to be that. But then they get in a relationship and then the relationship fell because that is not there. So like, again, I, I, I'm making sure that everybody's understand that I'm not being misquoted here. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's equal like a partner. Yes. When Adam, when God formed Adam and Eve, he said he made them to be with each other. He didn't say that he made Adam to be up in the front and Eve behind or even in front of Adam by together, period. You know, it's in the word together that nobody's in the front, nobody's in the back. They're together. Why? And you came, you said, uh, OK, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that. You said must be horrifying thought to those moral code is dictated by a 2000 year old heavily revised book. Why the H does someone have to be in charge? What do you, I don't know what you mean by being in charge. Again, I'm speaking from a point of a lot of men that I talk to that it's a natural tendency in us to when something, when things are going down, we're stepping up. Nobody's about to mess with my family. I mean, what? I mean, gosh, man, you know how crazy that would look if somebody came and was trying to harm my family and I just, oh, oh, oh I don't know what we're going to do, honey. Uh, my sons. I don't know, man. Just let them beat you up, man. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm going to step up and take care of my family. Plain and simple. So y'all can disagree with that. All y'all want to. That's fine and dandy. It's going to be a no win in it anyway. Because like I said, when you go into it, if you do the right thing, you're going to get bad. If you do the wrong thing, you're going to do bad. Ain't no winning. But for me and a lot of people, and this was cool. Besides Kane, I guess. Besides you. I haven't really talked. I never really talked to you personally, though. But all the men that I've talked to on this, 100%. All men in agreement with that about what they feel towards their family, you know. So anyway, um, you said there is so much more intimacy than physical contact. I don't honestly see how it's possible in an unequal partnership. I agree, but I don't know. What, uh, I don't know what you're talking about right there, Kane. When you said there is so much more intimacy than physical contact. Intimacy is not con. I'm not no, I could. I, if that was the case, I would have just said sex or making love. I didn't say that though. I did say intimacy though, right? So when I was saying intimacy, I wasn't even referring to nothing physical though. So I don't know if you took it that way or whatever, but I don't know. So okay. Anyway, you don't honestly see how it's possible in an unequal partnership. Absolutely. And when I do, I talk to people. I say in a relationship, it's not 50-50 to me. When we talk about this thing, it's a hundred hundred. See, because if all you have to give in a relationship is fifty percent then that's all that's going to be expected. Each one of y'all only got to give half. No, I'm, I'm, I give 100. She give 100. Like I said, again, that's why I'm reflecting back on this because there's so, man, God, man. I think, I, don't, I forget what the last, I just remember when I, was, uh, when I was about five years in with my wife, it was already at 50% was a divorce rate in America. I don't know, it's probably substantially higher now. So, okay. To assume that it's a great mix, it's a great mix, it's a great mix, it's a great mix, okay, let me see, I think that might have been, I think, uh, okay, I think that was pretty much, no, it wasn't it, okay, Kane, you said, I'm not going to live my life based on the threats of eternal damnation for some Jewish zombie or ineffable sky fairy. So again, to me, I'm thinking, I'm taking that, that's fine. You saying that, to me, you knowing how I am and what my beliefs are, and for you to throw that out there like that, again, I don't know if you're, you was meaning that or you just talking from a place of anger or whatever like that, or you just throwing something out there, but tell me, tell me in my talking at the end of the video where I even mention God in the equation. So for you to even throw God in there in this particular way, I can take that like you trying to throw shots because all y'all know I say I, I, I say it all the time and I'm going to say it to the day that I die because guess what I had an, ex I had the ex had an experience with God that it can't nobody take away from me so when you say things like God is an ineffable fairy or whatever zombie in the sky that's fine for you to say that because again you never had an experience.